Hello everybody, my name is Crispy and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be reacting to Freddy Jr.'s Origins Part 1. Uh I don't know what this video really is. I don't know if there's anything I need to watch before this or after this or whatever. I just saw it was like uploading an hour ago. I wanted to watch it. I thought it would be nice. So let's get straight into it. If you like this video, before we start, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, please. Show you some love and I'll see you guys. I said see you guys. Whoops, sorry. Whoa, that's weird. My entire screen went black. Okay. My monitor was like pitch black. Okay, hold on. Let me raise this audio for y'all. 20 days later. From what? Direct navigate. Okay. I feel like there's a detail I could have missed. I'm not gonna lie. I probably missed something. Where, where is this? Is it a pool table? Um, or no, that's uh, air hockey, whatever it's called. Okay, see Freddy. That's, there you go, Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica. And Foxy. See a whole lot of nothing. By the way, my, my room is dark and my headphones are somewhat loud, so if I get scared, I get very scared. What was that? No, y'all know. Wait, whoa. Come on now. You can't hide a secret message from me. Sis oh, system off. Never mind. I think it says something after system off as well, but at this point, I don't feel like going to check. I'm going to be so cooked trying to render this because I know static does not look good in recordings. Whoa. This one look like, kind of look like the movie a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh my god, it's fantastic, Mr. Fox. Holy. Yo, those models look. I mean, I think we've seen. I don't know if these are pre existing models or these were made specifically for this, but they do look dope. I believe that the designs, though, are from someone else, though. Yo, this is dope, like a full shot. And it this looks really like how it would look in real life, I feel like, which is similar. I think this is similar to how it looked in the movie. So yeah, give or take. Door closing. Okay. All right. I'm lightly disturbed. Yo, these angles are crazy. Yo, these angles are nuts. Oh, the eyes. Whoa. Oh my God. Yo. Jaw is shaking, I think. There is the effect. I can't, I can't really tell. I think it's just morphing. Yo, these sounds are crazy.
Goodness. All right. Right. <sighs> oh. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is killing me, low key. Like, this is nasty. A little, a little messy. A little disgusting. If I speak more, I think less about it, so I'm just gonna keep trying to speak a little bit. Oh my goodness gracious. And we look, we found the source, maybe? Or is that a shadow? No, it's literally just a shadow. Nope, that is also the source. What is that? Is that a suit? No, no, no. Oh, oh. In the deep fryer is crazy. Nuggies. Clean 17% replace. Filter. Now. So not only did he skim vet, stop fry, okay, no. Okay. Oh, one and two is okay. Oh, whatever. It's gonna cause a fire. Um, is everything gonna burn? Is he gonna die in a fire? Dun 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 dun. Air vent turning on. I don't think an air vent is gonna stop a fire. Five of six are ready. Did I miss the other five? Or the other four, technically? I'm getting ready. 39 minutes left. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm looking behind the box. My fault, my fault, my fault. Let me not delay the video, bro. This is like 49 minutes long. Okay, wow. Good looking, buddy. I don't like making eye contact, though. So, can you please keep that to yourself? Thank you. Respectfully. May 18th, 1985. What is that in the background the, on that board? Does it say Vestia? It's so blurry I can't tell. Twerdia? It's hurting my mind trying to look at it so I won't look at it anymore. Is the car purple? Like, yeah, it's purple. The light, I don't know, is it? The lighting is kind of hard to make it see because it looks brown. But I feel like if it was purple, it'd be like a deeper shade of purple, right? Just to make it like really clear. Law enforcement and crisis prevention. Why is everything so perfect in this world? Jeez, bro. God, like everything is so crystal smooth. Like, do y'all actually realize that? Like every, like all the environments look so good. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Humans. Your perfection. Don't mock. Don't mock. Yes. Oh, what's some about the Lakers? Afton, Fazbear, possible, why? Like we can get a look at that board pretty soon. Good evening, Mr. Oswald. Hello, Mrs. Jennifer. Please take a seat. 
I'm still trying to get a look at that board. This one, sir? Exactly, this one. Go on, it won't eat you. Okay, buddy. I mean, infinite. If there's like robotic sharks, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a robotic chair. Can hold you, Mrs. Hunter. I'm guessing you won't be surprised if I told you I'm not very happy about the recent set of events regarding your infamous pupil, right? Yes, sir. You know that uh, the thing. Oh, the one time I can see the full. Okay. So. Lot. Money, reputation, and most importantly, safety. Am I right, Mrs. Hunter? Yes, sir. Turns out, this case is more complex than we previously thought. Our institution has failed to provide us with sufficient feedback, lead proper research, and provide necessary evidence regarding Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Parlor and its- Okay, real quick. Hold on, sorry. Because it doesn't look like they're going to go over the board itself, uh, I'm just going to do a quick run through. So, preferred presence of worms, GMO, and Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, Pizza Place food. So, worms in the food. Examination could find presence of stale products. Uh, ignoring the stale products, the worms, I feel like, are attracted by the bodies, obviously. Raccoon feces remains rediscovered. Rediscovered? Discovered? Recheck house? As in his house. Checked Athens house, no evidence found on site. Because it was all in the sister location, right? In sister locations below his house, right? That's Is that how that works? Uh, checked Afton's belongings, no evidence found on site, okay? Afton lawfully sentenced to one year based off evidence. This, this sentence brought us S-word. We don't know. Possible connection to Jack Wilter? Okay, I don't know who that is. Who put those... Wonus? Wonus? Whatever. Why... Comedy, I don't know what that says, dude. I can't read. I I can't read whatever that says. It's like it looks like doctor's handwriting. Possible connection to bright ice. Great. No, okay, I'm done. Institution is missing employees. Us with sufficient feedback, lead proper research, and provide necessary evidence regarding Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Parlor and its owner. No way the community knows more details about him than we do. I'm still wondering where that backlash even came from. Can I see the documents I asked you to bring for today's meeting? Um, yes, I am. Um, I brought everything you asked for. Excellent. As this document, which is basically a report of a community survey about influential people in our town says this fellow was quite famous in our town's community. Let me read some of the interesting parts aloud. Widely known as local creep, never had any friends besides a few exceptions, but those were either as creepy as him or purely mentally unstable. Examples, case of Henry Richard Emily, his suicide attempt, Henry? Of Roman so, Harris and his mental breakdown. Okay, so Henry tries to kill himself. Oh, I don't know. Can I, can I say that? Uh, I just realized. I, I don't... I never went through guidelines, so I don't know if I can actually say... Whatever, it's fine, I think. I'm sure it's fine. Um, Henry tries to end it. Involving public exposure and alleged assault against children in kindergarten. Okay, all right. Wow. Kicking it off strong. <sighs> Pretty nasty friends he had the, uh, also the owner himself showed too much interest towards children and seemed eerily friendly towards them well he was a children's restaurant owner after all uh, i'm gonna hope they don't take a dorminibus route please don't make him a, a weirdo that's pretty nasty brighton's great child abduction of 1983 and 1984 six children suspected to be responsible for the abduction since all disappearances occurred at his restaurant but no evidence was found charlie in emily he's checked the restaurant his house car and other belongings but no children's blood trace nor their dna was oh that's 
That's interesting. Ethan. Right of eighty-three Acton. incident, which resulted in Will's son, son so. Ethan's death. A couple of bullies grabbed him and inserted him in Fred Bear's jaw. Supposedly, uh, such an event had a massive impact on William's sanity. Oh, and our recent infamous case: poisonings. Lab analyses confirmed the presence of various parasitic organisms in restaurant products. Also, a few of the products were stale upon arrival. Lab analyses confirmed that the parasitic organisms were genetically modified to be able to develop faster. What is he working on, bro? And efficiently reproduce. Such modified species do not appear in nature, which confirms that someone added those artificially enhanced worms to the meal beforehand. However, at the restaurant and Williams or and his employees place of residence, no evidence or any traces that would indicate their fault were found. No evidence signifying that William Afton and his employees were in possession of biotechnological measurements were found. Food Control has requested the court to sentence William to five years in prison for neglecting food quality control procedures and inability to comply with basic hygiene regulations. The court decided to sentence him to one year in prison. Huh. Yeah, and that's when things went down to shit. So, so Ashton's like a scientist. He's like a genuine, like, first off, he's a monster, but he's also a scientist and a weirdo. And riots, police riots. What are these? I feel like I know what these riots are from. But I'm gonna. What are these from? Why are these here? I mean, I think I know where they're from, but it just wouldn't make sense if I think I know where they're from. Good God. Is that his house or something like that? Or like what? They burned his house or something? Okay, but that doesn't seem to add up to me. I read the entirety of the report, and despite various nasty things written about him, the report mainly summarizes that he's innocent. But he's not. <laughs> most of the time, but, but why would people hate him so much for leading a supposedly not very successful and dangerous restaurant? I his see kids that were there. was just really unlucky when it comes to leading a big and ambitious restaurant brand. I mean, he didn't know that he would hire some creeps earlier who would ruin his reputation by adding God knows what to the food. I would he also kill didn't him know too for a while that. that children were going missing in his in restaurant. Game, in and game. even after learning that, he tried his best to help the missing children's parents, but but they just kept rejecting his help offer. And he, <laughs> even better, they were suing him, thinking he was responsible for all of this. But those cases, fortunately for him, ended as rejected because no evidence against him was found. Yep. That's the most concerning part. I suspect that some nut job among the enraged community decided to play God. Or doing dirty things to put William and his company in a bad light. Michael? Wind up even more hate towards him. Yeah, I know that the report directly confirmed he's innocent. No allegations were proven besides the food quality one. But here's a funny thing. Most restaurant owners don't care about what they produce nowadays. They could just serve a turd on a plate and only get fined for that. And people seem to have no problem with it. But if it was William? <laughs> oh, God. Hard to imagine what could have happened. Just wondering why people would go after him. Maybe it is because of that... Is uh, it? Remember that, uh, that, that burger restaurant with similar-looking animatronics. Candies? Uh, with the rabbit one as a main. I, I can't recall how it was named. N never mind. Something burger at Bond's thing. Bond's burger. I'm sorry. Is this well, tie prior, trying to tie into after incidents with that restaurant? Thanks for nuts. Me. And I suspect is when they saw that something was wrong in a similarly working restaurant with mascots and other child friendly staff, they immediately started to blame the owner for that. Wanted to deliver justice themselves. 
but that case was a completely different thing. I highly doubt that would enrage people years later. There's also a presumably second reason. If you have no idea what something is about, then it's probably about the money. William was quite a wealthy man, but keep in mind that all of his fortune was obtained legally. For some reason, though, according to the survey, people widely referred to him as a wise guy and thief. And as you know, nobody likes thieves. Envy drives people insane. Sharpens most primitive senses. Effective enough to ruin someone's reputation. Okay, so what do we do now? Who's to blame for all of this? Among the community? I guess we'll never know, but mainly, fault is on our side. We failed to solve this case, and innocence started to suffer. But at least we can do something to save William from widespread backlash now. What do you mean? We'll change William's identity, and relocate him to a different federal correctional institute. We'll serve there a year, and then we'll release him as a completely different person. We'll supervise him afterwards for a few weeks, see how he behaves, Provide him with a bit of financial support, a new flat, help him grab a fresh start in life, and cut him off from his previous community completely. At this point, everything's gone too far. But what if... So... What if he reopens his restaurant and the same events happen all over again? <laughs> Not possible. First, he won't have enough money to start such a business, and even if he does, I doubt he wants to play with family restaurant businesses ever again. Second, even if he wanted to start another family-targeted location, I doubt that stuff would repeat itself. Look, are you sure this is a good idea? Trust me, it's a foolproof plan. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Idea. Trust me. Uh... <laughs> uh... Where could you have possibly got that screen cap from? It's a foolproof plan. How did y'all get into his house? In the industry, Bonsberger, <laughs> yeah, it literally is Walton. But he's Wait. Not a kidnapper, murderer, a poisoner. I interviewed him earlier, before the court session. He seemed very genuine and honest in what he was saying. And I know when someone's lying to me. <laughs> okay, huh. well, I'm not okay. gonna question this. Okay. And that'll be it for today, Mrs. Hunter. Hopefully I'll they'll see let, you tomorrow. Hopefully they'll let me talk I'll pretty soon. Store. Okay, so the police helped out. I don't know if that's not the government. The police have helped William, and they're going to let him out of jail, get into a new location under a new name completely. And they're going to give him finance. So they're literally going to like set him up to be okay. They think he's innocent. Adobe. Um, this is probably the creator's actual desktop. Um, another thing is this is set in the same world as Walton Files, or at least it's set in a world where Walton Files exist at the same time as here. This has potential to go completely like left field because if they try to mix Walton Files with this, I don't know how that'll work. Spatial dispersion of susceptibility. The ground state of LC is inhomogeneous. This is um in relation. Spatial dispersion. This is not something that I thought it was. Never mind. It's a study of um. It's just something about particles. higher multiples along with the depot moment of the particles in the former case it is never necessary sorry you know someone somebody knows how to spell yo this is a crazy scene bro this house looks nuts non-vanishing sd effects spatial dispersion of susceptibility i kind of want to check what that is Why does the screen look like that? Weird filter. 
electromagnetic susceptibility. Kai Cooker, Adam Turner. Reckless parking and damage my car. Hello, Harold. I just heard about your recent problems with your urinary tract infection that essentially lands you in the hospital. Ew. And I hope you're recovering well right now. It feels like it's been ages since the two of us had a proper conversation with each other. And I was wondering in the future if we could just skip to, skip to Skype sometime in the future because at the end of the day, where is the communication just sending each other emails with this shit? So anyway, yet again, I've stumbled upon something incredibly bizarre and disturbing. And I can't shake off the feeling that there's something very odd happening around us right now. And, you know, with those VHS recordings, it's just like seeing how common and similar to each those other tapes are. Like, I don't know, man. It's just like, it's like a sting is going on. Anyway, uh, last week, Harold, I went to a local flea market, you know, just skimming through some stuff. Not looking for anything for me in life, just, you know, curiosity, killing the cat again. And among the usual array of knickknacks and vintage items, I found a huge collection of old VHS tapes, being only 25 cents per tape. Dang. And according to the seller, uh, most of them were just old, old movies and TV shows, but there was one that had caught my eye, and that one was the, the rare Star Wars 1992 Fox release uh, VHS tape. Okay. Now, since the owner was not selling the tape separately, and out of pure self-indulgence and nostalgia, and because I was a huge Star Wars fan when I was, when I was a child, I bought all the tapes for, for 25 cents uh, per tape. Wait, wait, wait. So, wait a minute. I'm sorry. They were selling all the tapes. Tw let's say 20. It was 25 tapes. Was it 25 tapes? It, it was just a bunch of tapes. 25 cents per tape. But the owner wasn't selling the tapes separately, so you had to get them all together. So, why'd you say... Why would... What? That this isn't a gripe. Well, no, it's kind of a gripe on the actual story. But why would you say it was twenty five cents per tape? Just say how much it was for the total box. I don't think it really makes much sense and to say twenty five cents per tape if you can't get one tape. After watching the Star Wars tape, I went on to browse through the, the rest of the tapes because you know, again, curiosity will kill the fucking cat eventually. <laughs> and you know, I enjoyed them; they were fine. But when I finished checking out all of them. And I decided to digitize them all and archive them for, you know, purposes for the Internet Archive and anything to do with YouTube and just video essays on, on stuff that's like lost media. Among, among about 43 of those, of those tapes, I found two which I would say were different. And I decided to originally digitize them instead of send their contents over to you uh, via Jiggle Drive. Now, Please check these files as soon as possible, Harold, because they're going to be deleted. And if you value if you value your sleep, Harold, do not download them onto your computer. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just me or not, but but when I had those tapes lying around, you know, including the previous ones that I've shown you, I suffered from a lack of sleep thanks to those horrible fucking nightmares relating to those tapes. And wiping my drive clean and burning all those tapes in a campfire really relieved me. For those awful nights. I don't know what it was, but it was just like, I think there's a sting going on. Or like an ambush, and we just so happen to be part of it, but we don't know that we're part of it, so... Just, again, please take care of yourself, Harold. Uh, some, of, some of the dialogue in this portion... I, 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 this is a small gripe, this is a small gripe, but I feel like some of the par uh, the dialogue in this portion is a little bit much. Like when he said, oh, I think there's a sting operation, but we don't really know for a part of it. I, I feel like that was, that could have been shortened a little bit. I feel like it could have been rewrit, but it's not bad. Di it's not bad dialogues. It's just some small stuff, small stuff. It's, it's small details that are getting me a little bit. It's been really good so far. Like I, that's not enough to make me not like this. Of course, this is still like a 9.5 out of 10 so far. Or it say Reverend audio recording. So now we're kind of mixing VHS and the quote-unquote real world, quote-unquote. Uh, hello? God damn it, Cole. Are you there? Oh, jeez, William. Uh, hello? Uh, 
I didn't expect you to call me this late at night. Wake up, Carl. I need you to listen to me. We're screwed. And I mean, really screwed. Wait a minute, wait a minute. W what happened? You just woke me up. I just got in the mail from the food control and a call letter from the local police station. Some cook or someone must have talked. William, wait, wait, talked? About what? Just fucking wake up and think! Okay. Oh, no. You, you don't mean, Carl. Since I trust you the most, I want you to listen to me, okay? I want you to do exactly what I say. I want you to get rid of any evidence we may have left. You're the only one who has these jars with worms right now. Jars of worms. the contents of these jars into the acid tanks you have in your basement. After emptying these jars, wash them, and go deep into the St. Kawana forest, smash them beside a plastic bag, and bury them at least 7 to 10 feet down. Alright. Also, uh, fuck. You know what? Screw the client! Take Cassidy out of the freezer, dump her into the acid tank, cut contact with Cassidy? the client, and dump her as well. If the Federals get into your basement and discover her like that, we're gonna have more problems than I already have. It's not very likely, though, but we need to be cautious. After you're done with erasing the evidence, get those tanks into your car and take them to our ditch place. You know where it is. Drive calmly and do not attract the police. They do not know about your involvement in my restaurant yet. So you should be safe, but still, just be alert. Okay. Wait. W what about the restaurant money? What about our Carl, money? Carl, calm, calm down. Calm down. I have it, alright? I already took it. Go to my place. You have the keys for it. There's a box with two locks in my closet behind the plaster wall, which can be pushed to the side. And it should give you limited access to the safe. The codes for the locks are 1103 for the white one, and for the red one, it is going to be 4531. Wow, you should have. 1103 for the white safe, and 4531 for the red safe. Take the money and you keep it into your that. house somewhere safe. We're most likely going to be needing it in the future. Okay, all right. Wait, wait a minute. Where the hell are you right now? I, I hear running water in the background. This fucking signal crap. That's because I threw my goddamn car into the river near the forest. I had to get rid of the evidence somehow. There were stains of the three previous packages in my trunk. And you know what I mean by packages. But don't worry about the car, though. We could afford another one. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck, William, the animatronics. We still have the animatronics to get rid of. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Don't panic, don't panic. Before I got rid of the car... I dismantled the animatronics and put them into the crates into our dish that no one knows about. Since we have no other options now, I, uh, I've been thinking for a while. I've read the letter carefully. I am wanted for food regulations and collect gold money, so that means I'm not suspected of any murders. If that's the case... I'm gonna go to the police station and throw myself in. What? Are you fucking insane? Call me a rascal! They don't have evidence I put those fucking worms in! Also, they do not know about everything I've done previously! They have no evidence! Alright? There's nothing else we can do now! If we flee, the whole state's gonna be after us! I'm doing this to focus all of the officials' interest on me, so you can keep the business alive for a while while I'm gone. <sighs> Whatever happens, I must sacrifice myself for the greater good and for our future. Hopefully, I won't be jailed forever. I managed to call my lawyer, an old friend of mine, and he says that he'll try to make my sentence as minimal as possible. I don't have much time left now, so I have to go. Remember, do exactly what I said, and do not fuck this up. Make sure no one follows you. Stay alert, all right? I'll keep you updated once I get access to the phone in jail. I will come back. I always come back. Nah, he said the thing. Remember that. Farewell, Carl, and good luck. So funny.
time has been destroyed. Yo, real quick, that's amazing acting. Y'all did amazing on that voice acting. Both both sides killed it. Truly amazing. Um, so it seems like this is industrialized killing, from what it seems like. So it looks like William and I think his name was Carl were in this like this measure of receiving these mysterious packages and putting worms in the food to let off bacteria that would, you know, infect the food. And they got found for the or no, not they. William got caught for the food, but he didn't get caught for the murders. Again, outstanding work on the voice actors there. That's what I wanted to hear. That that dialogue is amazing. That emotion was killing it. I hope the I hope the creator or at least one of the voice actors sees this, bro. Because I'm I'm trying to say right now, y'all killed this. That's what I like to see, bro. I don't expect to see like an animatronic running out from the field. So, also this looks a little too real to be SFM. I mean, not SF, not SFM. Oh, baby, baby, slow down, slow down. I hope you crash just because how fast you driving, bro. Stop. Gotta move on. Gotta move on. Come on, Thompson. Get a hold of yourself, man. Thompson. Well, it's five fifty nine. Are they gonna make it there at six so it can be like? Oh, you're cooked. Shit, fuck. Fuck, fuck. Yo, you're cooked. Why is the pay why is my opera buffering? Whatever. Yo, he's cooked. It's gonna be, it's gonna hit six, I'm telling you, bruh. Like 6 a.m., but it's not 6 a.m., it's like 6 p.m., which is this is pretty bright for 6 p.m. Okay, calm down, calm down. <sighs> calm down, calm down. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This scene is really good looking. Morning, partner. How you doing today? Uh, hello, officer. I'm doing just fine. Great to hear. Well, my name is Officer Jacob Clyde. Could you hand over the keys and step out of the car? All right, but uh, the, the keys? Well, why? It's just a safety precaution. Normal control procedure. Don't worry. Uh huh. O okay. His car is yellow. Step out of the car real quick. All right, Hold on, bro. Keep it in mind. His car is yellow. Could this be trying to make a FNAF 6 reference? I don't know. Uh, is this camera rolling? Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I'm just recording a home video of me driving. I've always loved driving down this way, and I really like to watch the footage on this road for special occasions at home. You know, when I <laughs> want to relax. But, but don't worry. I have no intention of showing this to the public, though. It's just for private use. It's... It's all good. It's okay. I'm fine with that. You can record me and my actions all the way you want, unless you intend on showing this footage to the public. Ah, uh, no, y yes, no, I fully understand. So, okay. completely uh, different from how they work it in real life. Uh, yes, yeah, sure. Well, on. depending on where you are. In real life, I'm pretty sure there are some places that Thank please you. don't let you record them, which is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Alright, Mr. Thompson. You find if I just called you Carl? You can call me Jacob in return if you want. <laughs> sure. Carl Thompson. I never interacted with such a friendly officer before, <laughs> uh, though I'm surprised, so. Nah, I just want this to be sort of a short and friendly conversation, you know? But I should really get to the point. <laughs> All right. You're cooked. Do you know why I pulled you over, sir? Uh, no. You got me. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. So in case you didn't know, uh, first, Excuse take me? a look, please. You've exceeded the speed limit about 10 miles per hour, and second, your left rear light went off. Jeez, really? Well, I've always driven this same route, and 
speed limit back there was always 60 miles an hour. Yeah, unfortunately, the officials decided to change the sign on the entrance to National 54 not even five days ago, so... Now That's the not speed his limit fault. Is 55 miles per hour here. That's not his fault, though. That's literally oh, not his fault. Awful. You should consider yourself lucky, honestly, Carl. Not all officers out there are as kind as me. I won't give you a ticket for the speeding, but I unfortunately have to fine you for the broken rear light. I'm really sorry, man, but that's a misdemeanor, and there's a hundred dollars and a one penalty point ticket for that. Uh, god fucking damn it. I really didn't notice that. What's gonna happen now? Listen, how am I supposed to pay that? Actually, if you do have a working spare bulb and can replace it yourself now, I might just let that He's gonna look in the back. <laughs> If not, head to any court within the next seven days, show my receipt, and just regulate the fine. Yeah, we're like, I have bulbs. You have money. Trunk. Oh. No, why'd you say anything, though? Why would you say that? You feeling okay, brother? Stop. Yeah. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. Could you pop the trunk for me really quick? <laughs> why would you okay. even say that, bro? Why would you, why would you even suggest it? Your breed 2968. My master. Oh. Are those vats of? Quite a large tank you have here. Can I see what's inside? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, but just be prepared for a god awful smell. <laughs> um, listen, I was disposing some old meat from my store, right? And I tried dissolving most of it in a hydrochloric acid, uh, but there's still little bits and pieces of the old lamb inside, so it's not going to smell very good. That's uh, quite a bizarre way of disposing old meat. I'm not going to lie to you, you've kind of surprised me. It's like... Here's a deli, in movies. so that makes sense. <laughs> With dead bodies. <laughs> Am I right? Uh-huh, so funny. Wow. Teeth don't dissolve, so. What the fuck? You're cooked. Show me your hand. Ooh, yo! I didn't know Carl was like that. I didn't know Buster was like that for real. So he has a recorded video of him killing this dude, and I'm seeing it right now. <laughs> Meaning, oh my gosh, He's, it's so over. And that's the radio going off. They probably never mind. I was just—they probably heard it. Nah, nah, because nah. I think you have to press a button. did it I would have honestly <laughs> if you didn't say anything he would just shut up and took the fine he wouldn't have had to kill him but whatever okay and there's someone watching that video oh oh that's the tape that the guy sent oh Adam Turner tape that's okay. That yeah 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 okay 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 okay. I rem I'm sorry. I forgot physics lectures. So that whole document probably had something to do with physics, and I didn't understand it because I'm seventeen, guys. I don't I don't care for physics. Well, no no no. I'm seventeen, and I don't care for physics. Those don't equate. There's a lot of people who do physics way better than me. I can never get into physics. It's too much, in my opinion. Hello? It's William. William, my man, how are you? I've heard about your court hearing. Okay, this is... it sounds rough, but hey, congrats on your short and sweet sentence. I was afraid it was going to be a whole hell of a lot worse. Carl. <laughs> I spoke Carl. to an agent. Due to 
to the riots that's happening right now. I'm going to have to vanish out of town. Um, okay, but uh, I'm not sure you're allowed to tell me that through the prison phone. No, you fucking idiot. I'm not using a prison phone. <laughs> not that stupid. I got my hands on a guard cell phone. I don't have much time, though, but hear me out. I've heard about my house getting burned down. Is that true? Yep. Up in flames within an hour. Hmm. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, because it destroyed proof. Destroy the evidence they were looking for. I didn't even think about that. Shit, shit, the guard. I'm going to have to go, but I'm going to tell you this. Wait for a phone call. If your persons are susceptible with the ring or ring of rosies, do whatever that person says. Forget about my existence for now. Keep the money, but do not spend it yet. You're gonna need it later. Wait for future calls. It's FNAF phone call. Phone, phone hang up sound. Ring a ring of rosies? So why were there tapes of phone calls? That doesn't really make sense to me. Lifetime? Because once you've acquired that new wave taste, you're gonna to want to try it again. The toothbrushes. He's just recording someone's you can't actual buy TV. Better cavity fighter than aim. It tastes great. She's right. Oh my gosh. I'm doing a little much with that, ain't y'all? Born in as president of a provisional Philippine government. But Ferdinand Marcos is refusing to step down despite White House urgings. And okay. Clouds. I'm not one for heights. This Fun fact. So. Point one television. Channel 12, Bellwood. Reminds me of a. Uh, what's that Corey Kenshin thing? Uh, what, was, what, what was the thing Corey Kenshin referenced? It was Local 58 or something like that. And only Estee Lauder can give you this unique beauty sleep every night. It's Buddy. Night repair. I don't want your tempur mattress ads, please. Not be duplicated because it's patented until the year 2001. It <laughs> helps enhance skin's natural repair process. So even sleeping beauties can wake up to younger looking skin. Night repair. Now at all Woodward and Lothrop stores. Patent until the year 2001. Did people actually... Oh, games tonight. How do huh. you start them off right? Chef Boyardee beef ravioli. Sure, they love it, and it's good for them too, because we use the good ingredients you would. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. Wow, the six years before I was born were really classic. Silk reflection paint, soft and silky as pantyhose. Some women know how to live, how to look their best. Oh wait, there's no confirmation this is 2000. Well, this isn't patented until 2001, but I don't think it actually is 2000. Whatever. Yes! Oh, FNAF 2. What? Freddy Fazbear's Genuine Pizza. <laughs> That's gotta be the most BS name I've ever heard in my life. Oh, this is, um, the music from... You might be wondering, is this place real? It is! And it welcomes you. Walter Welcome Brown. Junior's genuine pizza. Junior's and fun come to life. July tenth. Book your birthday today in Texas. So wait, 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 wait. So we're at a point of the story where Oh Junior's or that makes sense. Okay, so we're at a point of the story where FNAF one has happened. And now we're moving on to juniors. So we're going in game order, I think. So then at what point will Spring will Springtrap still happen in this world? Or will he happen in here, juniors? That's always a good question. 12 Films presents a U Util Rai Hadi production. Inspector Calloway, 1984, 12 Films. Episode XX, Kid in the Box. Get it? Guys, kid in the... Get in the box. Oh 
Mozilla Thunderbird. I am so young because I don't know what Thunderbird is. And don't, don't stop. Go ahead and delete those files, buddy. Is this going to be the call that's Ring a Ring of Rosies? End of part one. Really? Right here? Really, dude? Right here is the end of part one? Junior's Archive. Freddy Jr.'s Origin Part 1. Written by 12 men, assisted by Spectre. Is there an after creds? No. Okay. I'm gonna let this play out while I speak. Okay. Um, alright, well, that was Freddy what is it called? Freddy Jr.'s Origins. Um, this was phenomenal. Like truly, this was really good. I will say it wasn't that scary. I didn't think it was that scary. However, I do really love the world building that this opened up for FNAF and I love the character building and I love the first let's start with the characters the characters in this were really good I think it was really 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 good I think I think all the characters were made and set up to be crucial and critical I just wish that we could put more names to faces because I'm not gonna lie, the guy who answered the email, I don't, or the, the guy who answered the email and the guy who sent the email, I don't entirely remember their names, but I'm sure I could, honestly, if I was, if I could, like, you know, I, I don't know, but, it, but if I was a little bit better about names, I would probably, you know, remember theirs. Uh, I'm probably just gonna go back, you know, go through it a little bit. Um, Theft King for generous donations, well, um, yeah the the world building in this was just perfect like i like how, like one little detail i like is how what was his name carl called back to a meat like a deli that was actually in the like the area of residence where he lives so it isn't entirely off that that could be the case it's not like unheard of to think that uh, and so the cop looked in and he was like, oh my god, ooh, what ew, ew. And yeah, that's kind of the whole thing. Um, I think the one thing I don't really like, I the one thing I didn't, no, not don't like, didn't like, was some of the dialogue. And by some of the dialogue, I mean the email. I think the email was a little bit weird. I feel like it could have been shorter. And I feel like it could have been more to the point. Um, I like how a lot of the dialogue is actually spoken like William and Carl their lines were outstanding don't let don't make them change don't even let them change what they were doing with those characters they they really felt that um and the email guy whose name I still cannot remember remember I think what was his name Adam uh I think his 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 speech felt more humane because he was stuttering as he was saying it and it felt urgent and it felt emotional I really liked that. And the visuals were just outstanding. Like, I was blown away. Literally amazing visuals. Great work. Great work from the entire team. Just wow. Um, and I, I still love that that little change, that little tweak on the story where, first off, we're going to ignore Bonds existing in this world. I, that's not a, like an important detail. I'm sure that's just something to the side. But... If we look at just how things are set up, we have William and Carl being like caught up and not caught up, but like being these ringleaders of this like weird thing where they bring in packages, quote unquote packages, and they have these like worms that they put in the food and it's like they're getting, you know, hunted by like the entire state you know it's like or they're going to be hunted by the entire state if they don't do something about this and I, I like how it like i like how it's original it feels original also i was really scared for a second they were gonna make william a pedophile but i'm so glad they didn't take the dermatibus route because i feel like it would have been completely useless um i like how they made william feel more human here because he was like scared 
he was more grounded, like grounded, but he was still human. Like, I don't know how to put it. I, I really don't know how to put that. But I, I like how they wrote the characters. I like how they did everything. But um, I'm going to stop yapping. I'm going to stop blabbing on for literally no, no reason at all. And um, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Please go check out the original creator. Please, bro. What's his name again? 12 Men. Oh, so Michael Jackson, you already know I love this. Let me let me not put y'all on real quick. Um, please go check out Twelve Man, bro. This is peak. This is true peak, bro. Um, I'll see you guys next time.